and welcome yourselves to the review of the Manchester United Crystal Palace game that took place yesterday. Man United walk away with another three points after beating Crystal Palace at home. And it was kind of a crazy game. Obviously, Casemiro being sent off. Anyone who says it wasn't a red card is lying to themselves. Um, the thing is of the situation, and we'll talk, touch on this straight away, it was a crazy situation. You know, Anthony was pushed first, and then he got up. So basically, he was just being dramatic. And take yourself away from being a Man United sport for a sec. Everyone was doing everything. There was hands everywhere. But the one person who decided to take it one step further, and don't even say he was trying to calm him down. No one tries to calm someone down by putting your hands on the neck. He went towards Will Hughes' neck. That's a simple case. It's, even if, if it was just to calm him down, if it's an attempt to strangle him, whatever it may be, you can't put your hands on someone's neck. And if people want to talk about the AU and Fred situation, AU's hand was nowhere near Fred until Martinez pushed him and his hand went towards his neck to to keep himself balanced. I'm a Man United fan, and the fact of the matter is, Casemiro is the only person in that situation who deserved a red card. Everybody else was going at it in a civil it is in a, in a civil manner compared to Casemiro. Casemiro took it one step further, and he deserved the three-match ban. If they tried to appeal for it, it could go worse, and he could get banned for four to seven games. So, simple case. We're not really going to miss him against Leeds or Leicester, or we at least hope we don't. But um, And you can tell the massive difference. Susie went off. We conceded. Um, you know, Sabitza did bits. Everyone did bits. But it's we were still thing is we're, we're in a very good position. We're undefeated at home in how however many games we're putting on great performances. We're still lacking a bit, you know. Veg horse and Anthony are just not not it. Um, <clears throat> Anthony is brilliant going through the middle, and he probably would be a better cam or left winger. But in regards to that left back playing for Crystal Palace in Mitchell. There's no point of him even playing because he is never utilised in the way he should be. You know, Anthony is just not bothered about going past him and he expects Wan Bissaka to do all the running and crossing. So for me, Anthony <coughs> is useless. <coughs> and from a striker perspective, Vekos is useless. I don't care how much of a good holder of holder the ball you are. We're looking for a striker, not a fucking good holder of the ball. Someone who could pass the ball, make those runs, get in those gaps. Vekos doesn't do any of that and just runs around like a headless chicken, like a Sunday League footballer. <coughs> And he's probably the worst striker who's ever come to Man United. In regards to worst player, no, but worst striker, yes. In regards to ratings, um, you know, um, <clears throat> De Gea, I'd give about a six. You know, he did his job. He did he did well in places. Uh, the back four, Shaw and Wambasaka, sixes as well. Martinez and Varane to keep us in the game as long as they did. Obviously, um. People think Martinez. Martinez is not better than Varane, let's be realistic. Martinez is, is a warrior, but Varane's more intelligent and will make the better passes. Um, and they work so well together. Martinez is that ruthless aggression player like Vidic. Varane is like a real third and your card composure player. The way he just naturally glides across the box, the bottom, the the back of the, the back of the field, and he can pick out the passes is brilliant. I love Varane, and he's easily our best. Set up a defensive player, and the way he works with Martinez makes Martinez even more comfortable to make those tackles, to make those moves, and they both get a seven. Um, <clears throat> Casemiro, you know, he got red card, he made a stupid mistakes, so you'd give him, you know, from his, for his performance perspective, you give him about a six, but obviously the red card will negate that, so, and he, he's the reason we conceded, uh, so you give him a four. Um, Bruno, He's on a great form at the moment. He's doing well. You know, he was awful from last January to like September, October time. And he's finally found his feet and he's doing well. So you'd probably give him about a seven as well. Um, <clears throat> Fred, he's doing things. Six. Rashford, again, doing things. Um, you know, great, great goal, great assist from Luke Shaw. Uh, so I give him a seven. Veghorst and Anthony get threes. Um, they're just not in the game. I know if Garnaccio was decent when he came on, you know, he helped to get get the ball to Shaw, which Shaw got into Rashford, so I'd give him a, give him a six. Um, it's a bit, sir, what I saw, six. You know, everyone, most of the generic players get sixes because they, they did they did their job. They did what they needed to. They kept the game composed, but the only players that probably stood out were Martinez and Varane doing their jobs. Uh, Rashford, Bruno getting the penalty. Uh, yeah, overall, a decent performance. Uh, you could tell there were, they are more calm as a collective 
they um they're understanding they don't need to push themselves as much and there's a lot of games coming up with Leeds back to back Leicester and Newcastle with Barcelona mixed in that it's going to be a tense a tense a month of February so stick around of course for all those reviews and previews and of course let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the Crystal Palace game I won't be talking about the Casemiro things the reality is it was a red card it is over and it's done with so you want to live in the past live in the past it's not going to be turned over because you can't put your hands on someone's neck and expect to get away with it strangled or not strangled it is just something you can't do you wouldn't do it in, in public would you so you wouldn't do it in a football match simple as that thanks as always subscribe and like goodbye and i'll see you next one